Hey everyone, welcome back to my 3D platformer tutorial series part 8. And in this video we're going to be going over how to create a collectible item. So basically think of like Mario where they have like stars in a level and you want to collect those. And once you've collected them the first time, uh, you never have to pick them up again. So what we want to do is be able to create a type of item that we can put into the world. Once we collect it one time, we will save it. And the next time we load our game, it will know that we have already collected it. And then that object will not appear for us. So yeah, let's get into it. All right. And now I did just change the level layout just to make it a little bit um, smoother for testing things out. And what we're going to want to do first is we want to create another type of or another folder. Uh, I called it collectibles and we're going to need to create our collectible item. So what I'm going to do is basically it's just going to be a sphere and what we're going to want to do is create a brand new actor going into here, BP for blueprint and we'll just name this um, sphere. I mean, you could also just name it collectible and then make a child off of this for any other type of collectible. Uh, for this, I'm just going to have one type of collectible. So let's add in a static mesh so that we have something that appears here. And we're also going to need collision so that the character, oh, I didn't type add collision, sphere collision. And then I do have a model that I found on Sketchfab. It's just this tiny orb. Am I not? Oh, hold on. There we go. Now I could drag it in. Ends up coming in really big. What if I just 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3? Um, let's make it a little bit smaller. All right. Perfect. So now we have a sphere here. And what we're going to want to do is that upon overlap, we're going to want to collect this item. Now, because we haven't set up any other type of system, when we overlap, nothing is really going to happen yet. Uh, all we could basically do is just print that, hey, we are collecting. But currently, nothing else. So let's set up the basics, and then we're going to go into re-editing this. So we want to check to make sure it is our character. So I'm actually just going to cast a character. You can cast to whatever type of uh, character that you want. You could also do something like is a, which we'll just check to see if it is a class of character, or you could do like whatever your parent class is, like third person character. And then we'll do boom, boom off of this. We'll just play a sound. We'll do a button. And we'll destroy. So this is the basics. And then what we're gonna want to do is also add in other functionalities in a bit. So if we were to drag on a couple of the, not that, we wanna to go to our actor. Let's add a few to the level. Didn't mean to do that. Let's highlight this and then we'll just do that. Bam. So now we need to be able to save these. And then we also need to be able to, when we load the game, um, <clears throat> make sure the ones that we have saved disappear. So now let's go into creating our save game file. So this is where we're gonna be able to store the collections. So just search for save game. SG for save game. And we'll name this collectibles. Let's open that up. Now there's two variables we want to add to the save game. We want to add in the amount of collectibles we've collected so far. And then we also want to add the actors that we have collected. So we want to specify which ones we have found. So we're going to do sphere int, which is just the count. And then we're going to do sphere actors. And this is going to be an array of actors. You can specify a specific um, 
uh, class that you have. So if you wanted to put in the exact uh, collectible, you absolutely can. Um, but for this, I'm just gonna put actors because technically it could work for collecting anything. So if you wanted to bunch up all of them together and have them in one array, you could do that. So we're gonna go ahead and save that here, which is perfect. And now we're gonna want to go into boom, boom, boom. We're gonna want to create our game instance. So a game instance will store information and it will persist throughout all levels. It's one of the few things that will actually carry information from level to level and not get reset. So you can actually only have one in your game. So for this, we're gonna to want to go into creating our game instance, game instance. We're gonna call this GI for game instance. And I just like to call mine main. It's very simple, it doesn't, I only have one, it's the only one I ever need to call. All right. Hmm. And game instance doesn't have um, like on begin play, like uh, at event, I could have just typed it out, but begin play. It doesn't have that, it has on int, init, or maybe it's not on, yeah, event in it. And this is called once the game instance is being initialized, which is essentially um, immediately. <laughs> so from here, this is where we're gonna want to load or create a brand new save file. So we wanna check to see if they have saved already. And then if they have not, we're gonna create a brand new one. If they have already, we'll just load it up into the game. So from here, we're gonna go off here and it's going to be, does save game exist? What we're gonna do is promote this slot name and we're gonna call this SG name. And then in here, I'm just gonna call it collectibles. So whenever you do um, load or save, it requires a name. So it's just a lot easier to promote this, save the one va value, and then you just plug it in. Prevents us from having to type out everything and then prevents the chances of a bigger typo. So from here, we're gonna then branch it. We're then going to, let's see, if save game does not exist, we want to create save game object. This is going to be our collectible. And then from here, if it's true, we want to load save game from slot. Let's go over and plug that in. All right. And then from here, let's promote this. This will be a very generic save game object. So it's not going to be um, our specific one. We're gonna use blueprint blueprint interfaces to communicate between all of this. So this is just gonna be SG uh, collectibles. Copy and paste, control D and plug that in. All right. And then so upon starting the game, we'll check to see if this slot exists. If it does exist, we're gonna load it. If it doesn't, we're gonna do this. All right, so let's now make sure that we can communicate between all of these because right now we can load it. However, we have to be able to save our collected items here. So let me now create our blueprint interface. It's under blueprints, interface. BI for blueprint interface. And we'll just keep this going with collectibles. And the first thing we need to do is create a function that allows us to collect our spheres. So we're gonna call this collect sphere. And what we're gonna want to do is we wanna pass along the actor, which is basically just the collectible. All right, from here, 
Now that we can collect this for our sphere, we want to move this over. We're going to gain get our game instance. And now we're going to just do that message of what is it? Um, collect sphere. Plugin self. So this will be able to call it. Now we just have to make sure all of our blueprints have this interface. So go to class settings. And we're going to do the exact same thing for all three that we just created. Collectible. Collectible and collectible. Perfect. All right. So for our actor, this should be all we have to do right now, because what happens is when we touch it, we're going to say that, hey, we've collected this. We're going to play a little sound and then we're just going to destroy the actor. So for that, we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and close that. For here. Let's actually go to the GI main and we want to do something with this. So from here, we're going to need to collect it. So we're going to go ahead and grab this. And now we're going to need a second function, and this is going to add it to the variable. So we're going to go ahead and add sphere. Go ahead into actor. Go back over to the GI main, add sphere. You can also rename these to just like collectible or collect or coins, whatever you want to call it. Just plug that in. Hmm. Let's go back to SG. We're now going to double click on the add sphere. Going to grab this sphere actor. Add. Plug that in. Grab this int and just do plus plus. Just do an increment. So it will take the current value and just add one. Close our SG because we, ooh. No, don't close that. We're going to actually need that in a second. So from here, now that we have added this, we want to also save it. So what we can do is let's go into Mm. Mm. Now nah, we should just do this. Save game to slot. Plug that in. Okay. So we're adding this and then we're saving it to our slot, which is great. So from here, we should be able to Go into the game. And we are saving it. Let's see. All right, so we haven't actually added a way to delete the ones that we've actually existed. So just remember, we picked up about four or five of them. So now let's add in our function to where um, we're going to remove the ones that we have collected. So add over here. We're going to call this remove all spheres. Don't need anything here, but we're going to go boom, double click, remove all spheres. Get all actors. We're going to loop. And we'll just do like it is valid and then just drag off, destroy. You may not need an is valid, but just in case. Okay. And then from our GI main, after we have loaded, we wanna do remove spheres. 
All right, so now once we load a save file, it'll remove the ones we've picked up. And just like that, they're missing. So if I pick up another one, go back in, and now there's only two. Perfect. So now we have a fully functional collectible item. And let's just do a quick debug. I'm gonna go into my character. We're just gonna zoom in debug one. And we'll just delete save game slot. And let's name this um, collectibles. And just do a print. Delete save file. Now the save file does get saved into an actual file, which you could go locate it and then delete it. But this, um, I mean, you could just remove um, the values here. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna delete the save file, go back in and bam, I can go pick these up. And now I have them. So with that, we now have a fully functioning collectible items to where you can end up creating multiple that you want. You can have just one collectible item, whatever it is. Uh, you can actually do something very similar with uh, currency. So what I actually have a video on currency, which does basically nearly the same thing where you will collect the coins, you'll store it in the GI main, and then you can also save it to a save file. And then when you load into the game, you can keep your currency or you can choose not to save that, whatever your options are. But with that, we now have a collectible item. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you wanna see more, whatever it is, hit the subscribe button, like button, comment, join the Discord, all the self promo stuff. It's great having you, see you next time.